Now that we can set, read and update a cookie, the last remaining thing to do is to be able to actually delete a cookie. So let me go ahead and create a new file. I'll call this one delete cookie.php. And I'll go ahead and open that file. I'll start with a PHP code block. And obviously in this file, I need to actually remove or delete that cookie. Now there is not a delete cookie function. So what we need to do is to actually set the cookie again. Which cookie are we setting or deleting? It's the fruit cookie. I don't want to pass in a value, so I'll leave that as null. And the third piece of information is the time and we subtract a number of seconds. Now I'm going to go for an hour, so I'll do 3,600 seconds, that's one hour. So you can see what I'm doing here, I'm resetting the cookie, but I'm telling the browser that this cookie should expire an hour ago, and the browser should therefore remove this cookie. Let me save that, go to the preview, and we'll just set the cookie. We'll just make sure that that has been set. So go to cookies. There it is. The fruit cookie is set at orange and the expiry time is in 10 minutes. So now I'll go back and I'll actually just refresh and delete the cookie. Now let's check if that's actually been deleted. So we'll just do a, do a quick refresh here and we'll check if it's in existence, preview and it's actually been removed. So by setting the cookie with a time in the past, we're actually deleting or removing that cookie.